Well, the rumors were true, and Apple has officially unveiled the new M5 chip in three new devices today. We kind of knew about the 14-inch MacBook Pro after Greg Joswiak's tweet yesterday, but that was the first Mac to receive the new M5 Apple Silicon, as well as the new M5 iPad Pro and our first update to the Apple Vision Pro featuring, you guessed it, the M5 chip. According to Apple's press release, using third-generation 3-nanometer technology, the M5 introduces next-generation 10-core GPU architecture with a neural accelerator in each core, and this enables GPU-based AI workloads to run dramatically faster. The GPU also offers enhanced graphics, capabilities, and third-generation ray tracing that combined delivers a graphics performance that is apparently up to 45% higher than M4. Of course, we will be testing that, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all of the content on all three new devices. M5 features the world's fastest performance core with up to a 10-core CPU made up of six efficiency cores and up to four performance cores, and together they deliver up to 15% faster multi-threaded performance over M4. M5 also features an improved 16-core neural engine, a powerful media engine, and a nearly 30% increase in unified memory bandwidth. When it comes to the new M5 MacBook Pro, there are no new major changes, at least visible ones here, aside from the chip itself. The base 14-inch MacBook Pro will still have a liquid Retina XDR display with up to 1,000 nits of SDR brightness and 1,600 nits of HDR brightness, three Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI port, an SD card slot, a 3.5mm headphone jack, MagSafe 3 magnetic charging port. The new 14-inch MacBook Pro with M5 chip is available to pre-order starting today, comes in space black and silver, and it will begin arriving to customers and launch in stores officially next Wednesday, October 22nd. In the U.S., pricing starts at $1599 for a configuration with 512 gigs of storage and 16 gigs of RAM. Oh, by the way, if you're looking to configure this, you can max it out to 4 terabytes of SSD storage, which previously was limited to 2 terabytes, while the maximum amount of RAM remains at just 32 gigs. Just 32 gigs. A mere 32 gigs. Now, before we get back into the rest of this video, I do want to take a quick minute to talk about today's sponsor, Incogni. Right now, your personal information is being collected and sold by hundreds of data brokers. Things like your full name, your home address, phone number, even details about your family members. Now, that data is bought and sold to advertisers, telemarketers, and sometimes bad actors who can use it for scams, identity theft, or harassment. And here's the scary part. Removing that data manually can take hundreds of hours, and you'd have to keep repeating the process every time it keeps popping back up. Now, Incogni makes this simple. They contact data brokers on your behalf and get your information removed and even keep monitoring it so it doesn't come back. If you find a specific website exposing your info, their customer removal feature lets you flag it and a dedicated privacy expert will step in and handle it and get it all taken down for you, going beyond automated removals to cover almost everything else that's out there. Protecting your privacy online doesn't have to be a headache. Take your personal data back with Incogni. Use code RUMORS at the link below and get 60% off an annual plan. Go to incogni.com slash rumors today. Thanks, Incogni, for sponsoring this video. Now, switching gears over to the M5 iPad Pro, this also features up to a 10-core CPU and 10-core GPU, but that's only for the 1 and 2 terabyte models. The other two will come with a 9-core CPU, so those starting 256 and 512 models. Also, if you want nano texture, that's still only available for the 1 and 2 terabyte models. Now, the M5 on the iPad Pro features a next-generation GPU with a neural accelerator in each core, allowing the new iPad Pro to deliver up to 3.5 times AI performance than the previous model, and a third-generation ray tracing engine. There's a faster 16-core neural engine, which delivers more energy-efficient performance. Apple says that performance gains and breakthrough improvements over iPads with the M1 chips are staggering, which makes sense. We're four years ahead. Uh, but in addition to the M5 chip, the cellular versions of the new iPad Pro will feature Apple's custom-designed C1X modem, which allows up to 50% faster cellular data performance than its predecessor with much greater efficiency. It also features the N1 chip, a new Apple-designed wireless networking chip that enables Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 6, and Thread. Apple says the N1 brings better performance when connected to 5 GHz networks and improves the overall performance and reliability of features like personal hotspot and airdrop. 
It also offers up to two times faster storage read and write speeds, and the 256 and 512 models will have a 12 gig of unified memory for the RAM. The new iPad Pro also adds the ability to drive external displays at up to 120 hertz and now supports adaptive sync, which provides the lowest possible latency in external display performance. Fast charging is also now supported, allowing the new iPad Pro to charge up to 50% in around 30 minutes with a 40 watt adapter or higher. The new iPad Pro is available for pre-order today and again will be available in stores on Wednesday, October 22nd. And lastly, Apple has finally updated the Apple Vision Pro, but just like the other two products, there aren't really any actual noticeable changes to the hardware itself on the outside. But on the inside, we have, stop me if you've heard this before, the inclusion of the new and powerful M5 chip, with which this might be a pretty big upgrade from the previous gen because that was running an M2 chip. So according to Apple, the 16-core neural engine makes AI-powered features run up to 50% faster for system experiences, so for the AVP, that would be like capturing a persona or transferring photos into spatial scenes, and up to two times faster for third-party apps compared to the previous, uh, you know, launch version of Apple Vision Pro. This new Apple Vision Pro also renders 10% more pixels on the custom micro OLED displays compared to the previous generation, resulting in a sharper image with crisper text and more detailed visuals. Vision Pro can also increase the refresh rate up to 120 hertz for reduced motion blur when users look at their physical surroundings, and an even smoother experience when using the Mac virtual display, which is one of my favorite things to do on the Vision Pro. Vision Pro with M5 works alongside the purpose-built R1 chip, which processes inputs from 12 different cameras, 5 sensors, and 6 microphones, and streams new images to displays within 12 milliseconds to create a real-time view of the world. The high-performance battery now supports up to two and a half hours of general use and up to three hours of video playback all on a single charge, which is a pretty big increase from the last model. Perhaps what's even more exciting are the two new accessories launching from today, one from Apple and one from Logitech. The first is the included dual-knit band. Current Vision Pro owners can buy this new band if you don't want to get a whole new unit for $99, but the dual-knit band provides lasting comfort and stability with soft, breathable upper and lower straps and a counterbalance design. Its dual function fit dial makes it easy to adjust each strap independently for a more personalized fit. The dual knit band attaches the audio straps with a simple and secure mechanism, and release tabs allow you to quickly detach it when needed. Now, Logitech released the new Logitech Muse, which was showcased at WWDC earlier this year, and the Muse is intended to support the next generation of spatial computing workflows enabled by Vision OS 26. Logitech Muse is a spatial accessory designed to enhance the way you work, create, and collaborate with Apple Vision Pro. This starts at $129, and it'll be available today. You can order it and have it delivered directly from the Apple Store. And the accessories don't stop there. In addition, Apple today confirmed that the PlayStation VR 2 Sense controller and controller charging station will be available for $249 from the Apple Store online in the U.S. beginning Tuesday, November 11th. The updated Vision Pro is available to pre-order starting today, and it'll begin arriving to customers next Wednesday, October 22nd. But I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. How do you feel about the new M5 products that were just released today? Are you planning to upgrade to any of them? Honestly, the Vision Pro might not be a huge upgrade, but given what the M5 is apparently going to do to the Vision Pro, I am very curious to see how it works. See if the displays are actually better and more crisp, according to Apple, because of the M5 and how fast it is and able to render what it is that you're looking at. And uh, yeah, I just want to see if it is just a more faster experience, considering that it's a pretty big chip improvement from M2 to M5. But would love to hear from you down in those comments. This is Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.